so here we are, start of tape number two, because we recorded over a whole bunch on tape number one. Whoops. <laughs> I, I did try and find myself a nice little spot outside to film this, so I went out on the balcony at the place that we're staying at, and I got bitten about five times by wasps. Crazy wasps. What's going on? Anyway, I'm really sorry that I haven't been able to keep up to date with all this, but I've just got to spend a little bit of time catching up. I'm doing a few days together now, recapping what's happened. We're going all the way back to Thursday the 26th of November. Now the first thing we did was go to Thomas Red Ole High, and uh, we had an impromptu performance. We rocked up and, and we were of the belief that we were doing a Q&A, uh, but they got a whole bunch of kids together, so with a nice big audience, how can you say no? So we went in, we decided we were going to do it acoustically again because we had no time to set up. They had a piano there, which was mad. I got to play a real piano. We did photos for the local paper, met this really promising young singer, a girl called Maddie. All the best for your future in singing. Met a guy who was kind of also like Jonah from Summer Heights High. <laughs> and just a really, really nice group of kids, group of teachers, the whole lot. Really cool school, love it. Then we went to Campbelltown Performing Arts High. We started a new sort of setup. They didn't have a piano that we could play, so we brought in just one of the top speakers, plugged the keyboard straight into that, and went, you know, acoustically from there, if that makes sense. We played to a, a nice bunch of kids there. The new setup worked really well and played the clip. And we moved on to questions. A lot of questions about falling in love with castmates, people on your video clip, and then what was it like kissing a castmate and stuff like that. But that's okay. Then we went on to MacArthur Square. Now we parked down the wrong end of MacArthur Square, so we relocated. We started setting everything up, then we got told we had to pack it down again. Apparently there was no noise allowed, louder than the CD player playing at Sanity. It was really worrying for a while, because we thought that this whole tour was going to be, in essence, shut down before it had even really begun. We did the same setup that we did at the school that day. And it was one of the most fun gigs we've played because we had everyone right up nice and close, real intimate, a whole bunch of mad people, people that follow me on Twitter. It was just a sick gig, really. I really enjoyed it. The audience were awesome. I signed my first leg of the tour, as did Michael, thanks to Kayla. Just found out how to give myself more light. Love it. And we started the three-hour drive to Newcastle. Got into bed about 12.30 a.m., so on the Friday morning. Pretty exhausted. Alarm was set for seven. We were set to do it all over again. 